Alright, the training field, and there are deserters right there, but we want to go to the training field. Speak with the trainer. I'm sure we haven't gone to a trainer. Now, in here, you can do all kinds of practice, but you could... Sorry. Good day to you, lad. You look like you can use... Oh. <coughs> Alright, he sounds Irish or Scottish, because he said lad. Good day to you, lad. You look like another adventurer who has come to try the, his chance in these lands. Well, trust my word, you won't be able to survive long here unless you know how to fight yourself out of a tight spot. Alright. Thank you for your advice. This place looks like a training field. Maybe I can learn something about fighting here? Indeed you can. I'm a veteran soldier. Fought a good deal in the wars in my time. But these days, I train young novices in this area. I can find you some opponents to practice with you if you like. Or if you have any questions about the theory of combat, feel free to ask. Actually, I can move on to practice. Good. It's good to hear someone eager for practice. Let's see what you'll do. I train novices in four stages, each getting tougher than the one before. To finish a stage and advance to the next one, you have to win three fights in a row. Your next opponent will be a novice fighter. You need to win three more fights in a row to advance to the next stage. Are you ready, boy? Yes, I am. Okay, then. Good luck. Oh, crap. Straight to battle with these guys that are easy to fight. Alright, the last two tiers, eh. If you just start playing, maybe the second tier is hard, but it's the same thing over and over again. Maybe the second tier is a bit... I mean, the second or third tier would get harder, but the first tier is generally always easy. The reason I'm doing this is because it gives me some renown. It says I'm the like the best fighter in all of Kauradia if I beat all this, like I beat the champion fighters. And... If I beat the training field here, it beats all training fields, and it also gives me tons of XP. Way to go, lad. With this victory, you've advanced to the next training level. From now on, your opponents will be regular fighters, not the riff-raff off the streets, so be on your toes. Okay, so these guys fight every now and then, at least every now and then. Ooh. Well, well he was easier than a novice fighter. Did you get mixed up? Dude, don't. That was a good fight. A regular fighter. Bop. 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 Dang it. Oh. Okay, why are the regular fighters easier to fight than the novice fighters? That just... Maybe he got them confused, you know? Being a trainer and all that jazz. Yeah, we're just having a little dance over here. You can't touch me now, can you, boy? Oh, uh, now we have fight veteran fighters. Just as easy as the regulars. Easier than the novices. What the hell? They're supposed to be getting faster and stronger with each thing, but I mean... Well, I have played this for quite the while now, and... I've owned this game for like six months now, and I've had... Like seven or eight datas. Throughout the whole span I've had the game. I remember three months before Christmas, I found the... Uh, I saw someone playing it on YouTube. I remember watching it a year before. Now I fight the champions, right? Yes, and I remember seeing it a year before, but I didn't really like it. And then I saw it again a year later, and it reminded me of AoE 2, the more I watched. And it made me want to play the game more and more. So I got the demo, and it would only let you get to level 8, but I played and got to level 8 on like 3 data and I'm like, I had to show my brother because he liked a AoE 2 as well okay, you're just dancing ah, uh, die, you stupid friggin, just just walk past your trainer and okay, champion fighters are a bit hard to fight and I show it to him and he's like, I really want this game and now when we heard that we we're gonna release Bannerlord, we're sitting here like, yes. <laughs> yeah, you're a champion. No offense. Smacked him in the balls. Think, made him a eunuch. 
Thank you, Master. Good luck in the tournaments. Oh, so I'm a champion fighter. Apparently. But nobody was ready to upgrade. Ah, feel a sneeze coming. <coughs> Thank you, whoever said bless you. Mm. Deserters. Dang it, they're faster than me. Cavalry also makes you move faster on the overland map. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Bandit layers. Similar to the original place we fought. And we need food and some money. So bandit layers are always good to fight. You, unless you want to wait around outside to, for all the bandits that come through to make the thing richer. But right now, I just say, attack it. see how we do. I mean, because I want to get some good chainmail armor, so I don't look like a friggin' blacksmith all the time, because my soldiers, who are below me, look better than me. And, uh, it's a bit awkward. Somebody's up here. Got the lance. You can actually use a lance like a spear. Sometimes it's easier as a spear, so when you fall off your horse, it's always good to have a lance. Somebody's shooting at me. Oh. Is it javelin at this close range? Somebody hit me. Ow, 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 ow. Thank you. Saving my life. Ah. I want just this guy. My shield, you freaking freaking dick. Oh crap. No defense against arrows. No defense against arrows. No defense against arrows. Or any other flying objects at my head. Ah. Oh. Jesus. This is the only time this game is actually a bit intense or scary. When you lose your shield and there are archers everywhere. Luckily, I have some Nord footmen off there. Some sort of footmen. Some infantry. Alright, please tell me there was some chain mail in this. No, all leather jerkins. We got some free food. Yeah, you don't get money and like or anything like that from them, but this is the Tundra Bandits and they move slower than me, and I want to see a battle with all my cavalry in the middle of the snow. Yay. Alright, so our cavalry now. It's not as big as it originally was, but this is why I said you want a lot of kurgits. Early on, they die pretty quick. So, but as soon as they hit the horseman stage, they don't die as often, but they do die quite a bit in the beginning, especially when you're first starting out. And they try and run you off the frickin' battle. Boom. One hit kill with my sword. Sorry, I had to think for a second. Oh, how I love thee so. You slaughter my foes and all who oppose me to the ground. Oh, yes. Okay, my singing isn't the best in the world. I'm actually a bass, surprisingly. My light voice. If you saw my channel like two years ago, I had like the lightest voice ever. It's way up here! When I talk normally, and I'm actually singing we down here. That's not actually singing, I don't think, but uh I sing down there sometimes. Now I got the tons of space with that upgrade, so I want to grab all of this to sell. Okay, now some soldiers are ready to upgrade. Yes, Lancers. This this is the very, very top of the cavalry tier. 
like some of the best cavalry in the game, Lancers. You always need to know that when you're in a... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, the rest go to footmen. And me, I need, uh, strength. Persuasion, I need to be a little persuasive sometimes. You never know when you get to a rut, you need to be a bit persuasive to get out. And that can mean all kinds of ruts. So, marketplace, armor. Now I'm looking to get some of the... Ah, battered mail shirt. That's what I want. But in order to get that, I'm going to need to sell all the stuff I have. Maybe I'd have to cut into some of the money I have here just to afford it. Yeah. Excuse me. Yeah, I have to get rid of half my arm. I mean, I have my money. But I still have some money. That's always good. It's 215. How much do I cost a week? 477. You always want to have at least a bit more than you have than your army costs per week. Look, there are some Tundra Bandits. Oh, 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 oh. Manhunters. Who are outnumbered by bandits. About an hour ago. This guy's got prisoners. Move in and help the manhunters. When helping manhunters, they start to like you more. Manhunters, they run around the map. There's like tons of them everywhere, and they're in small light cavalry parties. They just hunt down small bandit troops, trying to keep them from getting too large. But eventually, the parties do end up getting large. Like, you can have like 200, like 50 looters. Well, there's one glitch, like 2,000 looters. But, uh, that's just some mods. This guy was playing like 2,000 looters coming after his army. And they slaughtered him. Looters. This guy had an army of like 80 highly trained soldiers. Got about half of them down, then they started to die. Alright, see they like it when you help them. Okay, now we have a peasant woman, so whatever woman out there was going, hey, you don't got a woman in your army, you're sexist. Well, now you know I'm not, because I have a woman in my army. Remember that. If you saw me pointing at the monitor, you'd think I was crazy. One mace, and break left. And is this guy still helping me? No. Eventually, when we actually get a banner or a flag or something, it'll appear above my men's heads as the symbol that we pick. And now, the symbol for the banner is going to take some deciding. But I think it would be doable. So, right after this battle, I think it would be a good time to stop. We're actually about halfway ready for the siege. We just need a few more levels before we can start and plan the siege. We're also going to need to pick the faction. So if anyone in the comment section that can do that before the next video, you can choose the faction I go against. Now, I could put the factions are Swadia, Kurgit Kanat, Rodox, Serenade Sultanate, Vagors, and the Nords. Need to mind you, I am Nordic, so tell me to go against the noise, that would be a bit of an oh, awkward thing, but you can still do it. I remember, I mean seriously, whoever can actually put up a comment before I put up the next video could seriously make me go against them. Okay, I would check before I put up the next video, hopefully. Money. Let's go to Kudan to sell it. And this has been Code of Zoomshot 12 and the Adventures of Harold Kickerbottom. We'll get back to you next time in planning the siege of the next of the first castle or and or city and the faction we're going against. Remember, whoever can actually post the comment of what faction we should go against, let me know. Before the next video before episode like six or something so this has been criticism for the 12 
See ya.